And last night, the CSUB men's basketball team made history by winning their first ever conference semifinal. 23 ABC Sports Director Stephen Hicks has been following the team all week and has more on their chase for history from Sin City. Last night's win over Seattle U was a big step for this runners team, but the bigger step would come tonight. A win in their first ever conference title would give CSUB an automatic berth into the NCAA tournament. Again, a first in program history, but standing in their way was New Mexico State. Winners of four straight WAC titles and also a team that the runners have failed to beat in all 11 tries. Well, New Mexico State has been the Achilles heel of the runners squad. Four players over six foot nine inches, while CSUB just has. Ali Ahmed, of course, Bakersfield in the spotlight even more tonight with the game being broadcast on ESPNU and runners hot out of the gates thanks to senior forward Kevin Mays. He was an injury worry last night, but tonight looked to be in total command, scoring off the Ali Ahmed miss and then following the New Mexico State turnover, sinks this jumper at the top of the key. But that size I talked about earlier kept the Aggies in it. Tanir Bular at seven foot three, the easy finish. Later, it's off another Aggie turnover. Diedrich Basil goes coast to coast with a nice finger roll finish. CSUB in total command and Damian Durham's three turned that lead into double digits. Sinking it from downtown. Runners fans loving it. Later in the half, Jalen Arrington having himself a tournament. Double team. He hits the fadeaway jumper off the glass, giving CSUB the 10-point lead at the end of the half. And after the missed Aggie shot, CSUB went into the break up 32-22. Now here is the shot that makes Bakersfield history. Derek Basil with the buzzard beater to win it for the Roadrunners. That's sending CSUB to the big dance. It's the first WAC championship in school history. Basil won tournament MVP and the runners are automatically qualified for the 64-team tournament. After the celebration, players and coaches tried to make sense of what had just happened. Now 23 ABC Sports Director Stephen Hicks will have a full recap online and on 23 ABC tomorrow morning. Morning. There will be an NCAA tournament watch party tomorrow at 2 p.m. at the Lengthwise Marketplace.